Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot, and I hope that you're doing well. So, I recorded this reading for you, and at the end of the recording, while editing the video, I realized that the audio there was no audio at all. I tried fixing it, I'm still trying to find a way to fix it, but I have a strong feeling that it cannot be resolved, and so I'm doing this voiceover. Um, on your reading to see if I can just get the basic messages out. This reading was so powerful, so intriguing, very emotional as well. And I wish, I really wish you could get the original quality audio because I know this message, message was meant for someone and it's very powerful. I'm also getting a feeling as if uh, the message should not be heard, probably. And that's why the audio got interfered with in the first place. Let me give you the messages as I lay the cards out here. We have the Six of Wands and the Seven of Hearts. I was getting the feeling, Sagittarius, like there is some someone wanted to move on or to be on their journey, to, to be in purpose here, but there's a bit of confusion, something that need something holding a person back from moving forward. I feel it it has it has to do with knowing who you are so someone wants to go ahead lead their lives but there's a there's 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 something holding you back from doing so because there's something missing you want to know who you are with the page of pentacles energy here that came out for you it's about releasing something getting to know who you are studying getting new information getting enlightenment here i feel some of you could be going off to work traveling to work traveling to study this is also the page of pentacles is also um, receiving a message, receiving some message that has to do with money. Some of you could be releasing burdens, transforming energies, okay, releasing old childhood dramas. Your message is in a, in a oh gosh, I just wish, I wish, I wish, I wish it wasn't messed up. I'm still in that heated moment of losing your message like that i cried i literally cried i wish i wish i could get it back for you i don't okay so what i'm seeing here is um because i'm not showing the cards here i was only glancing at the cards and giving you the messages and they were just coming out <sighs> someone wants to move forward a very strong courageous bold and powerful individual i'm getting a masculine energy but maybe for some of you i was getting the feeling like you lacked a bit of love when it comes to your mother so it has to do with your childhood you're wondering why your mother didn't give show you love and affection and for some of you you missed your your father's presence in your life you wonder why they're not there or they weren't there and so even though you're very strong and powerful and people see you looking even in your physical form you look so as if everything is going right in your life your body looks powerful and muscular you talk to people like Sagittarius energy you're out there you're having fun but no one knows that you wander still and you've always had this lingering question in your mind what like where is my father why isn't my father here why has he never been present it's you don't want to ask it out loud maybe because you don't want to feel weak okay but um there's this question of why isn't he here i was saying that you're going to get an awakening a realization through something that's going to cause you to it's going to cause you to become more self-aware it has to do with maybe your the sex, your sexual energy, what you go looking for in life when it comes to sexual attractions. I feel you're going to get denied or turned down, rejected or refused. And then this is going to cause you to self-reflect. You're going to be looking into who you are, why you make these decisions, why you're out here seeking love, okay? And you're going to realize that this is the reason why. This is the reason why you're out here seeking love because you you felt like you didn't get enough from your mother and you feel like you you were missing your father's energy in your life you st it's, i don't feel like you hate your father you feel his energy powerfully within you you know that it is because of his genes why you are so powerful you know that he is within you 
Even if you've never met him, you feel him. And so you miss him. You wonder why he isn't around. Some of you may have met him. And there's you may um, the last part of your reading was saying you may be receiving a telephone call or you need to make that call. So maybe you do have the number to make a call or you're going to be receiving a message. I also feel like you'll be getting connection from an angelic presence. It could be this message that was coming through to you of love. I was describing the feeling as if you're getting a cup of water out of heaven with the Ace of Cups card over there. It feels like a, a heavenly cup of water because at first I was saying it's like someone is giving you love. This love that this person is giving you, it's like water. It's so refreshing, but it's not earthly. It's not human water. It's as if the gods stretch their hands to you to offer you a cup of heavenly water. That's the water. That is the kind of love that you will be receiving. I was even um I was even comparing this this energy to you being a god. Literally, I felt you are a god and you're here on earth doing your mission, you're wondering who you are, what's your next what's your purpose, where you're you know, where to go, but you still feel like there's so, your family, you want to know about your family connection. It's that energy where is uh a movie is coming back to my mind. Okay, Sagittarius. It does really feel like you're a god. I feel your mother is alive and well and she loves you and she watches over you. Okay? She's sending you love from heaven. Okay? You're going to get some nourishment or something that's going to help you to know who you are. But I feel like the message was retracted and I'm not supposed to send it out here to you yet because you're not supposed to know. It's like, be more patient. It's like, it's not time. You're, yes, you're going through it. You're waiting, but I feel like I shouldn't give you that. I'm not going to, I can't give you this message. I don't want to. It's so powerful, but it's like, it's, it's your mother loves you so much. But at the end of the day, she wants you to, to go through these experiences. But at the same time, she doesn't want you to give up. What she wants is for you to remember who you are, possibly on your own. But know that she still loves you. And it's like she didn't mean to desert you or to make you feel alone. But it's like you're a superhero and you came here to do something powerful. You feel alone, but you're not alone. Okay, I even cried when it came to your father because I was wondering what is it that's keeping you from moving forward? And the energy I'm getting is that um you still you still wonder about him. It is like you idolize him, you look up to him. Now see the Queen of Cups coming out here and the Six of Hearts. I feel like this is your mother's energy and the Six of Hearts representing going back to heal childhood wounds. Okay, we also had the moon card and the the star card, which is um and something healing in you. That's what I'm saying, healing your childhood wounds. You're going to the moon card represents secrets or what is not being seen. So I feel like you're going to realize that certain behaviors or certain ways of being, it's not it's not healthy, and you're going to see that it is tied to something that happened to you while you were a child. Okay. Oh, what else was I getting? It's so beautiful. So you do need to release. That is what I'm saying saying at this point. There's you need to re because I feel like you're standing looking at your life experiences as a child. All that you have been through. But there's something about it that needs to be transmuted and so you can release it. Turn your burdens to light. I feel like that's what your mother wants you to know. Okay, she wants you to come to this point where, yes, it's you're frustrated, you want answers, you want clarity, but she wants you to figure out how to turn these burdens to light. Turn your childhood experiences to victories, to gold. That's the energy, alchemy, because you're so powerful. And I feel like once you unlock this, your hammer will... Will 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 you will realize that you have your hammer in your hand, Thor? You know that's the energy, and you will after you realize who you are, you start wielding, meaning you'll step in your power. You just need to turn your burdens to light. There's so many magical things happening, and I'm getting a lot of movie energies, all of these Avengers and superhero movies, and The Hobbit. 
a lot of that is taking place now we're in a spiritual warfare and so we may think that life is going on and what we're seeing with our two human eyes it's all we can see but there's so much going on i got a reading about the collective sagittarius and it is saying that it's time we're at war and all of our ancestors and spiritual guides they're ready they're ready up and here to go on this mission with us so listen sagittarius it is time for you to step in your power we need you we need you to heal this wound that you have of your childhood. We need you to sit down and reflect on who you are and why you came here. We need you to feel in your heart the, the love of people that are in your life. Some of you, this is, not your, this is not only your mother's energy with the Ace of Cups. This is your love. You're going to learn how to love yourself and so you're not accepting less from others and you're not treating people with disrespect. You're learning how to value yourself and others through loving you. Some of you could have a female or a woman in your life, whether that's your romantic partner or otherwise. And this, Or you could have multiple women in your life that just show you motherly love. They show you so much love. They hold space for love for you like a son. Okay, because this is how they feel about you. And all of this energy, energy I feel is sent here through the amount of love that your mother has. It's bursting through her heart, through the way she sees you. She beholds you, her son. Okay, and so it's easy for people to, other women to look at you and find things about you to love. But you still wonder about your past. Okay, you, you are ready to heal, but it's as if you don't want to accept that this is what is bothering me. The fact that my father isn't here. You, it's like you, you've always had the question in the back of your head, or you put it to one side in your mind. But you're not really accepting that this is what is bothering me. You're denying it. And so you need to breathe into this feeling okay, of neglect or hurt or abandonment, of betrayal of missing, of a missing piece, of your roots wanting to know where you came from with your father's energy here, okay? You still need to know. It's okay to be vulnerable. We have a lot of water energy here when it comes to healing. Something may cause you to break down and cry. As I said, I feel like you have a big muscular feet, physique, okay? I feel you're, very, you're physically fit, whether you're male or female. I feel physically fit. I'm feeling for female Xena energy, warrior energy, warrior spirit, okay? And so you're here, you're here as a, as, as a powerful strength. You're here to You're here to lead the way through. You're here to you're a leader. You have senses sense navigational sense you have navigation a navigational sense that could lead people through the forest that's the kind of energy okay you have a tarzan spirit where you're very muscular very physically active and you also have a very loving heart you love animals as well an animal lover all right um, you have a lot of spirit team. You have um, a spirit team with a lot of different energies on your side. When it comes to the animals, you have animals on your side. Women love you. Okay, so um, love you. I mean, as a man, they love you as a, as a being. There's something about you that women appreciate. Um, there's also something about you that needs to clear up that energy with women. To see women as valuable within your life because maybe growing up you didn't really get the opportunity to see a woman as valuable maybe because it, it has to do with your mother's the love that you feel like was missing from your mother all right um what else do i have to see i want you to see all the cards here that comes out in case you know a bit about cards and reading tarot this message was so powerful and um I literally do not want to lose it for you. You're about to you you are embarking already on this journey of newness, transformation. You're about to celebrate 
at this point this is when i'm talking about you receiving heavenly love from your father with the seven of pentacles along with the ace of cups over here i feel like this love comes through as soon as you release a burden this burden will be released as soon as you become enlightened or a secret is revealed to you or you get an awakening and this awakening will come when you get denied or turned down or a situation that's going to cause you to realize that you are living unhealthily what you're because you're out there seeking unhealthy pleasures to fill some void within you and you're not realizing it thor okay it's just time for you to step in your power and start wheeling your hammer. And I'm now with the king of pentacles. Uh, it's like I feel like something you're blind to or something, a missing aspect. A missing aspect when it comes to a, a lesson, a love. There's something about the energy of your father. He's a very powerful figure as well. He, but he and your mother are powerful. We have gods here. I don't feel like this is just your earthly father that's speaking to me. I feel like you and your father are always seeing it in the reading. You have, um, sometimes you get a bit aggravated with your father. As if you two may butt heads sometimes. But it's not hate. It's. This, this man aggravates you. <laughs> so that's why I feel like I'm dealing with a masculine energy here in this Sagittarius reading. But some of you, someone passed away, someone died. It could be your father or your mother. Um, I hope this makes sense for you. Because I, as I'm shuffling here, I'm actually talking to you. There's so much. There's so many different messages coming through. <sighs> Gosh. Um, as I said, I'm going to leave the video to continue playing, and I'll put some music, some jazz music on it, and let it play out. I also, um. It, I just, I feel like if I shuffle again, I won't get the same messages. So I wanted to just tell you, your mother loves you. She's watching over you. The women in your life love you. You need to heal that missing aspect when it comes to your the love you receive from your mother and the connection that you miss with your father. There's, um you needing to release a burden heal some childhood traumas so that you can learn to love especially women and respect especially see women as valuable if you're a woman seeing yourself as a valuable part valuable part of uh, of life and of society it has to do with your childhood experiences sagittarius I was also saying in the reading that if you feel like crying, do go ahead and cry. The Ace of Cups could be tears. And whenever you cry, there's something for you to receive. Crying is releasing. And when you release, you create space to receive new. If you're holding on to old childhood traumas and you've never cried about things that are allowed yourself to feel the pain, you need to cry. If you speak to your father or mother when you make this call here, you may cry. You may, sh you know, express emotions um, when it comes to how you feel. It may be the first time you're ever going to allow yourself to bawl, allow yourself to, to be weak, to be vulnerable, but it will be so beautiful so transformative I feel for you I feel like here I was saying some some of you could have received a call or had the opportunity to connect with your father but you refuse this connection of a new to have this new beginning with him or 
however it re it relates to you there's there's so much love in your life you possibly are with a twin flame soulmate wanting to have a happy family with this person this person could be cancer pisces scorpio heavy water sign in your reading um, sagittarius heavy heavy water sign there's movement. Someone could be moving, moving to work, moving to travel, moving away from sadness of the past, moving away from a broken heart. Someone could be really aligning with their identity, their sense of self, leaving the old ideas and belief patterns behind so that they can know who they are and step into the truth to be on your journey. That could be you. Some of you could be aligning with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Please forgive me for messing up the audio for you. And I hope this this voice over audio is enough to give you the messages that I feel is most important for you to hear. All the sixes, all the sixes came out of the deck. One, two, three, four. All of them are here. Just this change, transformation on your journey. I feel like you get the release that you're looking for in order for you to move forward. That's the energy. Hmm. There's also something about money and work. Opportunity to work. Opportunity to make money. Opportunities that come around to you. I feel like be open to receiving also. Be open to receiving. Expect the best for yourself because and don't think you don't deserve things because they they are being sent and gifted to you all the opportunities all the love they are being sent and gifted to you from a higher a higher dimension a higher realm of of angelic support and guidance here for you so be open to receiving if you get an opportunity to make some money Take it because you don't know where it's going to lead you, what's next on your journey. You don't know if you're going to need this money. Take the money and make the best use of it. All right. If you get an, a new job, take it. There's something there for you to excel in, to get closer to who you are, to use your gifts, your tools, to speak out, to have fun, to just present yourself here. There's more love here or anywhere you go for you to receive, Sagittarius. I feel you're such a such a beautiful person I feel you're definitely closing out a cycle with the death energy. Closing out a cycle, knowing who you are, valuing yourself, both your masculine and feminine energies, stepping into Empress mode here, trusting in your intuition, um, using your intuition also, leaving behind past connection, past feelings, beliefs, thought patterns, everything that wasn't serving you and stepping into the greatness of your power so the what you're going through is a cycle and it's a it's going to end okay the death energy someone could be mourning or feeling lost because they lost as i said it earlier lost someone through you know um someone possibly passed away that you cared about and it hurts you still. There's something to heal here. Sagittarius, I'm leaving your messages here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell when you subscribe to be notified when I post some new content for you, which I do on a regular, so you get these messages out in time. Much love and appreciation. Remember, Sagittarius, that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you. Much love to you. Take care.